right welcome back to the channel and unfortunately this is a bit of um, the side of unlucky nature so we've just nipped outside in the garden and unfortunately there was what looks like a well, it's, it's a crow but it looks like a, a smaller crow so not very old at all um, unfortunately I think it looks like a cat has probably had it um, I can't see any other reason we've got some quite a few trees out there in the front garden so I'm guessing a cat's had it well basically uh, this video is just uh, to explain how to get rid of a dead bird properly if you see it in your garden rather than just leaving it there especially if you've got dogs like we have who's staring at us over there aren't you Hilda and she's wanting to get to the bird which I'll explain a bit about that in, in a minute as well because she's a cross with a Yorkshire Terrier and Terriers can be pained uh, but <clears throat> yeah this video is just to explain how to get rid of a dead bird out your garden without you know putting it in your bin okay so let's just go outside for a minute basically I've just dug a hole I'll just quickly show you here's the trees Got all these trees up here so I mean and it could have well come out of there but <clears throat> here's the hole that I've just dug and as you can see it's quite deep for that size bird so yeah so basically Um, to get rid of it properly, as you can as you can see, I've just shown you that I've dug a hole in the garden. And that reason being, you can just leave it in your garden if you want, but then it's just going to rot and smell. And also, if you just go and throw this in the bin, it's going to rot. All its body fluids on the inside are going to start coming out. Its mouth, etc. It's going to grow maggots, and then all of a sudden your bin. You, you know your garbage bin not your recycle bin obviously your garbage one where your house waste goes in is going to be full of maggots it's going to stink all the maggots are probably going to start uh, going you know a few dog meat tin and then you're going to it's just going to create more and more maggots so i'm going to explain how to get rid of it best also the hole i've dug i know you can only see it in the video but it was probably about this deep if you just get my hands in up there you know, so it was, it was a good um, half a foot deep, I'd say, which is fine. Now, here's the poor crow. Obviously, you can see it's quite, it's gone quite stiff, but it's only a baby one, not it's only a small crow really, because they're only small. You know, its feet up, and it it wasn't there last night, so I'm guessing it's happened this morning or early hours this morning. It's gone really stiff, but it's quite fresh. Like the best way to get rid of it is get a large paper envelope uh, like this one. It's now got mud on it, but that doesn't matter. Get the large paper envelope, put it in the envelope like so. Seal it off. And just kind of pinch it down a bit. Now the reason I'm using a paper envelope is because it keeps some of the smell while the crow or the bird is unfortunately rotting away. It will keep some of the smell on the inside because the dog has to go outside obviously to do her business and it will keep the smell on the inside so the dog doesn't scent it as much. And also the paper is obviously over time it's biodegradable, the paper will just rot away. Um, now the hole that I dug, 
obviously half a foot deep to put this in. Uh, I obviously dug it that deep so I can fill it right over and pat all the mud back on top so the scent or the smell is quite deep and then um, the dog won't smell it hopefully because it's inside the paper it's half a foot deep underground it's going to have all the soil all over it it can then just you know rot away underground and the dog's not going to smell it and she's not going to want to go and dig it back up or anything um, not that I think she will she's not much of a digger anyway but just in case the best way to dispose is large envelope put it inside make sure it's sealed short like that dig a good half a foot deep hole cover it back over don't just go and put a large or a dead animal of this size or a larger dead animal in your bin because it's going to rot it's going to smell really bad and you're going to get maggots all over the place and then you've got the hassle of the smell and cleaning your bin out and it's going to be disgusting so this is the best way just to do it disperse of it and get rid of it so i thought i'd give you that little tip but thanks for watching and we'll be back again soon